bloody man is that? He can report as the seam of his plight and revolt in his state. This is a sergeant who, like a good and hardy soldier, fought against my captivity. Hey, great friend, say to the king the knowledge of the royal as thou didst leave it. Ugh. Doubtful it stood, as two spent swimmers that do cling together and choke their art. The merciless MacDonald, worthy to be rebel for two that the multiplying villainies of nature do swarm upon him. From the western isles of Kearns and Galaglass is, is, is supplied. And fortune, on his damn cruel smiling, like a rebel's whore. But all's too weak. For brave Macbeth, well he deserves that name. The standing fortune with his brand of steel, which smoked with bloody execution. Like Valor's minion, carved out his passage. Till he faced the slave, which ne'er shook hands nor bade farewell to him. Till he unseamed him from the nave to the chaps and fixed his head upon our battlements. Yeah! Oh, valiant cousin, worthy gentleman. As once the sun gains his reflection, shipwrecking storms and direful thunders break. So from the spring, one's comfort seemed to come, discomfort swells. Mark, King of Scotland, Mark. No sooner justice had with valor armed, compelled these skipping kerns to trust their heels. With the Norwegian lord surveying vantage, with furbished arms and new supplies of men, brought a fresh assault. Dismay this not, our captains with Beth Banquo. Yes! Uh, as sparrows, eagles, or the hair of the lion. If I say soup, I must report they were as cannons, overcharged with double cracks, so they doubly redoubled strokes upon the foe. Except they might have bathed in reeking wounds, or memorize another Golgotha, I cannot tell. Uh, but I am faint, my gashes cry for help. Thy words become me as thy wounds. Go, get him surgeon. Who comes here? The worthy Thane of Ross. What a haste looks through his eyes. So should he look that seems to speak things strange. God save the king. Whence thou came, worthy Thane? From fight, great king, where Norwegian banners flap the skies and fed our people cold. Norway himself with terrible numbers, assisted by the most disloyal traitor, the Thane of Cawdor. <laughs> he got a dismal part. So that Bologna's bridegroom laughed with proof, confronted him with self Comparisons. Point against point, rebellious arm against arm, curbing his lavish spirit. And to conclude, the victory fell on us. Yeah! Great happiness! That now Sweno, the Norway's king, craves composition. Nor would we deign him burial of his men, till he dispersed at St. Combe's Inch $10,000 to our general use. No more that Thane of Carter shall receive a bosom interest. Go pronounce his present death. And with his formal title, greet Macbeth. I'll see it done. What he hath lost, noble Macbeth hath won. Yeah! yeah!